Hello, I'm David Cram, manager of service training. As a level one service technician, there are several things that you will be able to fix and several adjustments that you'll be able to make on the disk drive. Now, all of these things are easy to do, and the purpose of this tape is just to model it for you, just to show you what it looks like when they're being done. This first module will give you practice at doing three things, at removing the cover, at replacing the ribbon cable, and at adjusting the uh, disk drive door. Now each videotape is in segments, and what we'd like to have you do is to watch the first segment and then eject it without rewinding it and take it back to your workstation. Practice the skill that we talk about on the videotape until you're comfortable with it, and then come back and put the tape back in and watch the second segment and go and practice that one. That will be the same process for all of the tapes. Okay, let's start. We'll start with a complete hookup. The first thing you want to do is turn the power off, and that's important. Then we re re will remove the Apple's lid, and glancing down to make sure we did turn the power off, I'll remove the interface card and set it aside, gently. Now, we'll close the door on the front. Turn the unit upside down, and remove the four screws. Now put the unit up on the door end, and then pulling gently on the sides of the cover, just slide it up until it clears the interior parts of the drive, like that. Sometimes these vent covers will catch on the frame while you're trying to remove the door. And if they do, just pry the uh, covers away from the frame, and after you get the cover off, smooth out any tears or bubbles that, that may be in the covers. I'll set that aside, and we'll put the unit back down on the base again. Now that's all there is to taking the cover off. Once the cover's off, you can see how this nylon cable holder is holding the cable in place on the back, uh, the back, uh, the inside of the back plate. Uh, it holds the cable securely so that if the disk drive were dropped, the pressure would be all on the clip rather than on the plug here. You can open the clip just by pressing on the side; it'll pop open, and lift the cable free like that. Now we'll unplug the cable from the analog card, and the other end from the interface board. It's awfully tempting to pull on the cable when you unplug these, but don't do it. That's the sort of thing that causes intermittents that are so hard to find. Always unplug them by the plug itself. Okay, these little donuts are called toroids. They're made of ferrite, which is a good conductor of electromagnetic waves, and their function is to keep down some of the electronic noise. This cable acts like a broadcasting antenna, sending out wavy lines and snow and other junk that can be very annoying to the neighbors who are trying to watch their television set. And the toroids capture a lot of that. When you change the cable, just take off the toroids like this. You have to struggle with it a little bit sometimes. Shove it through like that. And smooth it out for the sake of prettiness. Now when you put the cable, when you put the new cable back on, uh, allow about three inches after you make the loop through the toroid. I'll loop it through like that. Oops, I didn't allow myself quite three inches. There we go. Now, plug the end onto the analog card. And be sure you get all ten pins in all ten holes. And plug that in. 
and then stick the toroids down behind and slip the cable into the cable holder and snap it shut. That's all there is to that. When you plug the cable into the analog card, be sure that the cable itself comes out away from the card. Now, in just a minute, I'd like to have you stop the tape, eject it without rewinding, and take it back with you to your station. Then take the cover off your disk drive, remove the cable, take off the toroids, put them back on and replace the cable, and then come back and watch the second segment of the videotape. Adjusting the drive door is another simple adjustment. Uh, this is an adjustment tool. Uh, just insert the adjustment tool and be sure it's centered and then gently close the drive door. I'm going to turn it around and look at the two guide bars here and here. Just barely see it there. Now notice that this one is binding. It's, a, it's binding a little bit on that side. There shouldn't be any binding between the guides and the adjustment tool. If there is, just loosen these two screws like that and straighten the door so that the gap is the same on both sides and then tighten it down. I realize that you can't see that very clearly, but you will when you get there. When it's right, you check that, remove the adjustment tool. Now, in a moment, you'll go back to your station and practice making that adjustment. When you think you've got it, call your course manager who will come over and check your drive to make sure that the cable is okay and the drive door is properly adjusted. Once everything is checked, you'll want to put the cover back on the, on the disk drive. No problem there. It's just the reverse of taking it off. Close the door. Put the drive on end. Make sure the cable comes out the back properly. And slide the cover on with the vents toward the back. Put the four screws in, and that's it. Before you go, please rewind the tape and put it back on the shelf. Thanks.